In today's video, I am talking to you about the six things I learned about owning a Ford Bronco for a year and a half. What is going on social media family? My name is Jorge Lopez and I am your sales consultant. Yes, I sell cars. We are located in Tomball, Texas and Tomball Ford is your dealership of choice. Welcome to yet another video. Let's get into the video. We are discussing why I love and dislike my Ford Bronco after one and a half years of ownership. Okay, just a little bit of a background on my Ford Bronco. I was one of the early reservations back in July of 2020 yes a long long time ago and then i got deliver of this bronco it is a wild track obviously it's got the 2.7 sasquatch is standard i optioned it out with the modular bumper the towing package you got your leather equipment your lux package and i know these are a big constraint nowadays but that's what this one has i've got about 14,800 miles on it about a year and a half ago like i said i've owned it and it has been my daily driver i've used it mostly on road back and forth home and work but i have had the pleasure of taking it many times off road we actually have a, a park close to austin here in uh, texas called hidden falls i don't know if you've guys gone there but it is an off-road park and i've uh, tested the lockers almost gotten stuck at the beach at the sand so i have used my bronco not at its full capacity and capabilities because we really don't have much here in texas but that's a quick background. Let me talk to you about what I learned first, which is the design of this Bronco. So one of the things that I learned about my Ford Bronco is that I absolutely love the design of the Ford Bronco. Look at that body line, the grill, the trail sides. Look at the color on this specific one, the antimatter blue. Man, I wish, I really truly wish that we had antimatter blue again. Look at those tires. The Sasquatch tire package comes with the 35 inch tires. And yes, I love the, the design of the tires, but I hate that it just flings rocks um, across the body. So I would definitely recommend getting a mud flap or at least getting a running board. You've got your touchless enter keypad. You've got your keyless enter keypad. Look at that color again, guys. I can actually see my reflection on this. So look at the design. This is one of the things that I learned I love about my Ford Bronco is the design. Another thing that I learned about my Ford Bronco is that this is an awesome engine. For me personally, the 2.7 EcoBoost has a lot of power. I really love it. Um, it has plenty of power for me. Um, if you do have a, a Ford Bronco on order or uh, you need to know which engine, I think the 2.7, if you go with a Sasquatch package is the perfect combination. If you do not have the Sasquatch package, I feel like the 2.3 is a more than adequate enough engine. One of the things that I, that I don't like about this, as you can see, look at this, man. There's really no cleanliness to it. It, it, it looks like a ratness, to, uh, to be honest with you. It is not clean at all, but uh, man, the, um, the power that you get from the 2.7 really overshadows the way that this thing looks. And I will be honest with you, I did have two issues with my Ford Bronco. And that was, I did have when I bought it, an oil gasket was leaking, okay? Now that was really early in the ownership of uh, my Ford Bronco. Looks like the gasket was kinked at the factory. So after a couple of uh, uses, then I started to develop an oil leak. And, uh, but other than that, it has been a really, really good engine. I love it, I recommend it. Another thing that I learned about my Bronco is that I do appreciate the four full-size doors now i feel like getting a bronco with four doors just makes life a lot a lot easier versus having a bronco like you see right there one of our old school broncos two doors that started it all but hey you know i know i'm gonna hurt a lot of feelings by saying that i feel like a four door is better comment below let me know but uh, for me having a family having the ability to have cargo uh, being able to uh, pick up drop off uh, just having so much more space allows for a four-door to be more functional. I feel also that if you go with the four doors, you will have more of a better resale value on this one. Um, so I feel like the four-door is much better than a two-door. What do you think? So another thing that I learned about my Ford Bronco is that this interior is meant to be cleaned really easily. But in a drawback, you've got a lot of plastic material. So as you can hear right there, you got plastic there, plastic here, 
it's all very industrial and very plasticky but i like it because when i've gone off road it makes it a lot easier for you to clean looping around over here you got the techie features on it the seats though are super super comfortable this leather seat is a really comfortable riding seat and i've been on trips for about six to eight hours and let me tell you that i have not had any issues with my family um, the gauges the dash is another interior feature that i kind of dislike a little bit this i don't use at all the analog digital uh, i'm sorry the analog speedometer who uses that i wish it had a whole full digital display on it but overall the interior of this is pretty good however i wish this thing had blue cruise i'm a techie guy i love the tech that is on the iphone 50s and lightnings and mach e's and i wish we had blue cruise in here so the last thing that i learned about my ford bronco after a year and a half is that i absolutely love the way that this thing drives the comfort level i talked about it already on the interior portion of it is really really good and let me tell you that you got plenty, plenty of power out of this 2.7 EcoBoost V6. It is not a dog. It is very peppy. It makes me feel very comfortable on the road that I can merge onto freeway, pass somebody up. The whole thing is just super comfortable. Now I will tell you that the tires do make that extra little road noise, but after a few weeks of ownership, it was like nothing it was super comfortable for me this vehicle is really really good as a daily driver and i feel that that is a huge advantage that we have over the jeep because of how stable this vehicle is on the road because of the techie things that you get that you don't have on a jeep wrangler yeah the jeep wrangler has a better front suspension but heck you know you're going to use it what maybe two percent of the time when you're going heavy rock crawl heavy mud but 99% of the time, Ford Bronco order owners are gonna be on the road, they're gonna be on a street, and this is where we need to maximize the whole thing. So, the driving of the Bronco is phenomenal. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay guys, well there you have it. This is just a quick one and a half year ownership review of the things that I learned about my Ford Bronco. And let me tell you guys that I absolutely love this vehicle. And uh, by the way, uh, by the time that this airs, this vehicle will be available for sale. Um, I cannot tell you what I'm getting next, so you're going to have to stay tuned. But uh, this has been a great experience. It has been a flawless ownership uh, of the Ford Bronco. Um, the color is just phenomenal, although I will tell you it is really, really hard to keep clean, a very dark color, but I love the color, the design, the techie features, the comfort level. I recommend it as a daily driver. And if you're waiting for a Ford Bronco, keep on waiting. I know there has been a lot of delays, a lot of pro problems with the microchips, with parts and all that stuff, but hang on tight because this thing is definitely worth the wait. Hey guys, if you love Bronco content like this, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you like this video and share it, and make sure that you turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss another upcoming video that I put on this channel. Thank you so much. On to the next video. Have a blessed day.